Hello and welcome to Chemistry Nuggets, where you can polish your knowledge and clear your doubts. So friends, today's topic is pyrolysis of alkanes. So before starting the video, let me remind you, if you haven't subscribed the channel, subscribe it now and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification for the next coming videos. So friends, first we will know the definition of pyrolysis. The definition says the decomposition of compound by the heat is called pyrolysis. So when the pyrolysis of high alkanes we are doing, it is called cracking. <clears throat> it is a kind of free radical reaction. So actually when alkanes are heated at very high temperature in the absence of air, thermal decomposition takes place. In this condition, the high alkanes are broken down to the smaller, lower molecular weight alkanes, alkanes and hydrogen. So this whole process is called pyrolysis of alkane or we can say the cracking of alkanes. Let's have an example. If methane is heated at very high temperature, almost 500 degrees centigrade in the absence of air. What will happen? It will be broken down to the alkane, alkene and hydrogen. So the alkene is formed as CH4, the alkene which is formed is acetylene CH2 double bond CH2 plus hydrogen. This is methane, ethylene and hydrogen. <coughs> this is actually happen while cracking. Let's have the mechanism of this given reaction. The mechanism involves three steps. Chain initiation, chain propagation and the <coughs> chain termination. So let's start with the chain initiation step. Ethane molecule decomposes to give two methyl free radicals. So we will take ethane molecule that is CH3 and CH3. This is ethane molecule. When we will heat it, it will give two free methyl radical. Methyl radical is CH3. This. This is our ethane. This is methyl free radical. Now, the second step or chain propagation step says they have three parts. First part, A part is saying free radical attacks ethane and produce methane and ethyl free radical. Let's have a look. The free radical that is H3C will attack ethane. So now I am going to write the ethane in this way. CH showing the electrons so that you can understand how they are moving. CH2 because this is CH3, then CH3. This is our ethane and this is methyl free radical. <coughs> now, what is going on? This one electron is moving here and this one electron is moving to here. And what will happen? Thus, methane is formed and ethyl free radical CH2, CH3. And this, this is called ethyl free radical. So in chain propagation, first step, methane and ethyl free radical is formed.
Now, the next step in the chain propagation step is ethyl free radical, what is formed in step 1, gives ethylene and hydrogen. Now, this ethyl free radical CH2, this free radical, free electron, and CH3. It will give us CH2 double bond CH2. This is acetylene. This is ethylene plus hydrogen H free radical. Now what is going on here? One hydrogen from CH3 in the ethyl free radical moves outside and the one electron which is present they make they do the bonding over the next electron and their free radical is making a bond hydrogen and in the next part hydrogen atom which is formed in the earlier part attacks the ethane to give ethyl free radical and hydrogen molecules here I am showing <coughs> the hydrogen atom attacks the ethane, ethane that we are used in the first step, CH2, H, CH3. Now this hydrogen atom, what will going on here? This electron will go here and this one electron will go here and they will make a bond. So hydrogen atom will be formed plus what is left is a CH2, CH3 with a single electron that is ethyl free radical. Hydrogen atom and ethyl free radical again form. Now, so we can see ethyl free radical is formed again. What is going on? Step B and C are repeated over and over again because in step 2 we have hydrogen atom and in step 3 ethylene is formed. So again and again they will be formed and the reaction will be going on for several time period of time until all the steps are over and how the termination will be reached chain termination step unreacted ethyl free radical combines with hydrogen atom to generate ethane again the this is ethyl free radical will combine to the hydrogen atom and they will give ethylene. So CH3 and this electron will go here and this electron will go here and they will make a bond CH3, CH3. The hydrogen atom will atta attach to the ethyl free radical and it will give ethane. And this is the chain termination step. So we can get the mixture of methane, ethylene and hydrogen. The products are methane. ethylene and hydrogen. This is the cracking of the alkane to the lower 
alkane, alkene, and hydrogen. This is called cracking. And overall, this process is called a pyrolysis. So, hope you guys understand. If you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section. I will try to solve that problem. Till then, bye. Thank you.